And now for the thrilling conclusion of Who's Gonna Get the Headband? Spoilers. It's Jinx. Ooh. And that's all I wanted to show in this episode, so I see you all later. Of course, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey there everyone, I'm Polk Fenoit, and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. Last time we did actually a lot of stuff. I'm surprised how much I actually got got into that video. <laughs> we rescued Kate from the dungeon underneath the castle in uh, Miltokia. There we go. And we came here to the Temple of Darkness, and we managed to grab three of the little bastards known as... Uh, well, the spirits of something something. Pieces of shadow, there we go. <laughs> and today we are gonna finish off this place. Hopefully, if they can actually work with me, which I highly doubt, but... Like, I can dream, I guess. Probably won't happen, but uh, at least I'm gonna try. <laughs> we only have two left to go, though, and then it's the hardest part of the dungeon. Getting all five down to the bottom, but we haven't gotten there yet, so I'm not gonna start crying. Just yet. There will be crying, though. I assure you that. So, we had. Ay, 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 ay. Well, that was nice. I ambushed the moment I got it through the door. Screw you, skeleton head. Screw you. Or oh, skull. There we go. <laughs> anyway, though, here we get a new treasure. Or a new treasure chest with a weapon in it. Yes, uh, the Shadow Dancer, which is a new weapon for Genus. And surprise, surprise, it is Darkness Elemental, but it doesn't really matter since. Well, he's not physical attacking anyway, so just give it to him. And we have fragment number four. Now, you take it over here and you see that it actually moves there on its own. That means that he will be waiting here for you for, until you actually come and get him again. If you make this thing go back inside here, he will still be standing here waiting for you. So, actually, I think that's pretty nice. And you actually need that too because you won't be able to take him with you through here. Or actually go through here. So if you do this, there he will still be standing there. So what we want to do now is go back in here actually and shoot this one again. Since we kinda need to get past that. And I and then we need to just go through all that stuff from the beginning again. So actually I will just meet you guys back at the uh, where the other others are, because well, you don't need to see it again. Come on! <laughs> that one was actually surprisingly nice to me. I like that one. I'm gonna call him Blob. Okay, Bob. Bob the Blob. There we go. <laughs> so now we only need one more, thank god. But how do we get it? We already see it, but how the heck do we actually get it? Well, once again, we need to go through here. I think I'm doing this kinda stupid, but well, I... I don't care, I'm just doing this. <laughs> so once again, we want to take this one as far out as possible. And... Can I? Yeah, yeah, I managed to get past him this time. And then we actually want to push this one as far into the wall as possible. And then... Uh, can I get past you? Thank you! Then we want to go back to the bottom. A lot of back and forth in this dungeon, yeah. But believe me, we haven't even started yet. I know I've been hyping this up as this horrible, horrible thing, and... Well, it is. It really is. But <laughs> it's not as hard, though, as a lot of people make it out to be. Okay, you know, this kid has been bugging me now. Let's just watch it. こんなに厄介なものが多いんだよ。ロイド。<laughs> you gotta love Ruin Mode Rain. She is hilarious at times. <laughs> but anyway, let's get this last little bastard and let's go back to all the others. Thank you. 
And number five here is my least favorite. I'm gonna call him Moron. Seriously, God for a bit. You don't need to do that, Moron. Come here. Come here. Here we are. Next, we need to lead him down to the seal at the very bottom. We can do it! A little bit too optimistic, Turkolet. I don't know if we can. <laughs> I mean, look at this! They are flying around like they're small flies! Wow! Thankfully, though, when you go down here, they will automatically go to the next section, at least. But with that, the real hard part of this dungeon begins. Getting all these five little bastards down to the bottom. And it is quite the trek, actually, so... <laughs> get to used to seeing that, oh, I only have four with me, oh, how nice. There are some treasure down here, but I'm gonna completely ignore those for now, because it's just not worth it, going out of your way with these little bastards behind you, trying to get treasure. It's not worth it. Come here. Go. I, I bet that was Moron. Yeah, it was, totally. <laughs> I will get all the treasures when I go back up. It's not really that much... Come here. Jeez. Seriously? Moron! Here, thank you. Come here. Down here. Come on! Come on! There we go! Sounds like I'm trying to get a couple of dogs with me, but no, these are worse. Seriously. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Good, I still have all with me. <laughs> oh, God. It's just... What were they thinking with this? It's annoying, and why did they change them to the... Come here! Why did they change them to the worst in the, in the PS2 version? And I only have... Oh my god. Here. Come here! Come here! Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, I will admit this is a little bit... Hilarious too, but wow. Come here. One, two, three, four... Why did he go back up? I did not tell him to go back up. Oh my god, come here. One, two, three, four, f okay, good. Do I have any holy bottles? Anything? Of course not, I forgot to buy them. Come on. One, two, three, f What, really? I have, I have all, all five. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I will say this is probably my least favorite dungeon in the game, just because of this little part here. Especially in the PS3 and PS2 versions. One, two, three, four, five. Good, good. We are almost at the bottom. It's just these stairs and then a little bit more to go. Come on! One, two, three, four, five. Yes, good. Save point! Save point! Yes! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna save my game here because I know some people don't like when I do that, but come on. Come here now, come here. Moron, I know the, uh, the, save, the save circle is very pretty and very bright, but you don't need to look at it all the time. One, two, three, four, five. Good, good. Come here. I can almost see the bottom. Come on. I just, I don't just, I just don't get why they are just decide, oh, I'm going to stand here for a while and then I'm going to go back up. I don't get it. It's just that they they did this just to be as much of an asshole as possible. Come here. Come on. <laughs> That's the bottom right there. Let's see. Is that all? Is that all? Don't go back up, you little piece of... Mm. Come on. Here. It looks like the lowest level. But our friends... Uh, <laughs> one, two, they're not all present. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we have two here, and three, all three. Okay, good, good, we have the ball. Yes? Oh, thank the Lord. Since shadow's the summoned spirit of darkness, the opposite of that would be the summoned spirit of light, right? Good boy, Lloyd. Seriously, I've been dreading this since the beginning. I hate this place. <laughs> but I can't stop laughing because it is hilarious too how badly program those guys are. Oh, at, least, at least it's it's done now. And, okay, I'm even recording, thank god. <laughs> but anyway, though, I can't wait to see how badass Shadow look in this game. I mean, I remember how it looked in Eternia. It put the bar pretty damn high. I really hope they managed to top it in this game, because he looked freaking amazing. Yeah, but why do you ask? 
Well, Luna was saying she wanted us to bring Aska, so... Yes. Considering the time we'll need to spend to find Aska, we should save the Summoned Spirit of Light for last. It is the last one, except, you know, the special ones. I wonder why Aska left the Guardian Tower of Mana. He probably just ran away to find some chicks. <laughs> it's funny because it's a bird. <laughs> You're confusing him with yourself, Zelos. Anyway, here we go. Actually, what Zelos said makes sense. Okay, let's see. How awesome does he look? I mean, he doesn't look bad, but I, I guess they went for a little bit more for the uh, Fantasia look. But the one in Eternia was just so badass, you know? I mean, this doesn't look bad, but it's underwhelming, that's all. And the fact that he can barely speak doesn't really help much. Mythos. We're doing the same thing that the legendary hero once did. I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Fight! And of course, like always, it is time to cue the music. Fighting the spirit. He's coming. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Talking about killing the mood, wow. I forgot to put Sheena in my party. Actually, I'm gonna do this too, just to destroy him a little. Come on, just to destroy him a little bit more. There we go, okay. For real this time, fighting the spirit. Jesus. <laughs> Show your strength. That's not what you said, you liar. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Now, Shadow here, he is... Uh, yeah, pretty easy. <laughs> he got some very nasty moves, I will give him that and team in fact. Oops. Oh, I still like Summon Karim, seriously? Wow. That was... that's very stupid of me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Pyre Seal? Okay, that was weird. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. And we know back to the fight itself. I don't know if you know this, but we're actually fighting spirit here. Yeah. <laughs> Shadow, he is a little bit weird. Yeah. He hits very hard, but he is also very easy to stagger. He will change his arms around to blades, and he will hit you with them pretty hard. And he will also go underground like he teleports, and he will pretty much destroy your mages if you let him. And of course, he will also be casting Darkness Elemental Spells, like Dark Sphere and uh, Bloody Lance. And for some reason, it looks like he really, really likes to rumble. Yeah, I don't really know what he's saying either. <laughs> but one attack, yeah, that one right there, you should really be a little bit careful about is Dark Shower. It is kind of a little sword rain, actually, that he can use. And he really, really likes to use it when going up to your mages. But except for that, as I said, he's not doing that bad. I mean, he got a lot of HP. 30,000, that is a lot. I think that's the most we've seen so far, except for the Sword Dancer, of course. But just be a little bit careful and hope that he doesn't go up to your mages and dark shower them. And you should really be fine. Ow, yeah, like that, yeah. You, you should not let him do that. <laughs> and of course, Rain decides, I'm gonna cast a spell right beside the guy who almost killed me. Brilliant. <laughs> but really, he's a little bit like no. He is really much just a big punching bag. But I'm just gonna do this, and he is probably already dead. Or at least close to. Yep. Easy shot. Almost got a 50 hit combo. Damn it. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would also be a title for Lloyd, so yeah. No, 
he is impressed too. <laughs> you don't waste any words, do you? Not at all, no. Um, for the sake of creating a place in which the two worlds must no longer sacrifice one another, I ask that you lend me your power. Agreed. I wonder if Shadow's voice actor was paid by the words. If he did, I feel sorry for the guy. <laughs> Now all we need to do is form the pact with the Summon Spirit of Light, and we can sever another mana link. All right, we're counting on you for the next one too, Sheena. You got it. And we get the Pact Ring, which is, once again, the Amethyst. That has sealed darkness, summon darkness, and that is all. Whoops. <laughs> but uh, you should remember this place for later on, because we will be back here. I won't say why, I won't say when, but we will indeed be back. It won't be for quite some time, though. But now, let's go back upstairs and... Oh, thank God we don't have little ba those little bastards with us anymore. <laughs> Happy day! <laughs> so now, we want to go and get those treasure chests that I missed. Or skipped, but you know, I didn't miss them. Nope, nope, nope. So, on the way back up, though, I will say that... Ah, as I said... I want to talk a little bit about the summon spirits of this game, because uh, they look pretty good, most of them, I will say that, but the summoning animations are just lame in this game, in my opinion. If you compare some of them to, to the ones in Eternia, they are just, the ones in Eternia are just so much better. I don't know why they decided to have the animations in this game pretty much be, I would say, uh, a normal spell that uh, Genius can usually cast. Like, the Ifrit summon is pretty much just a explosion spell and all that, but in Eternia, all the summons, well, most of them at least, were epic. They were grand animations. They were awesome. Why did they go with so simplistic summons in this game? I don't understand. I kind of miss my epic summon spirits. I mean, they are su the summon spirits are supposed to be big, powerful entities, right? Then why are Ifrit using the same move that our 15-year-old... Uh, not even that, but why is Ifrit using the same spell that Genius can learn after a little while? I don't really get it. I mean, they give Sheena the, the power to summon spirits to balance her out a little bit, I suppose, but... She... it doesn't help her. Sheena is... Uh, and I'm, I know I'm not the only one saying this, but Sheena is the worst party member in the game. Because she doesn't have that many good physical moves, her reach is horrible. The only thing she got that is actually worth something for, for a lot of people is the summon spirits. And even those are very underwhelming. So, yeah, the balance of this game and the summon spirits themselves are just... Eh. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's, it's a stupid thing to actually bring up now, but just something that I've been thinking about for a while, that the, uh, compared to Eternia, the spirits are incredibly lame. That is all I want to say. <笑>女の子と大接近できる絶好のチャンスじゃないか。は<笑><笑> That is both hilarious and incredibly creepy. <laughs> hey, Sheena, Celos just said that he was the one who put his hand on your butt. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Yet. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. <laughs> oh, God. And people still ask me why I like Celos so much. <laughs> I think scenes like that is should say enough, yeah. <laughs> 
世界はクルシスのくさびから解放されるのねそしたら世界はどうなるんだろう世界がバラバラになっちまういいんじゃねえの今より状況が悪くなるとも思えねえしあんたどうしてそんなに気楽でいられるんだよ気にならないのかいバラバラになった後の世界のことそうだなどうせだったら俺様はキュートなハニーたちがたくさんいる方があだっあんたに聞いた私がバカだったよ Poor Celos can't even get a word in before she actually slaps him. <laughs> kind of deserves it though. But anyway, when you exit this place now, there will be a lot of talking about, well, not much at all to be honest. So that will probably take the rest of this video. So if you're not interested in that, well, just stop the video. <laughs> hey, let's decide what our plans are before we make a pact with the last spirit. True. Though this isn't the sort of issue we're likely to settle immediately. Assuming the worlds do split, we have no idea whether travel between them will be possible. It's, it's impossible to extrapolate the exact probability given the lack of data. Not high is all I can say. Why don't we take a brief tour of Tatheala? The final summon spirit resides in Silverond. It is possible Sheena will be unable to return after forming the pact. Right, I like to say my good b to speak with everyone in Mizuho. Well, that's our plan then. We'll do a loop of the Theala, then head out. Use this time to make up your mind. Who's coming with us to Silverant and who wants to stay in the Theala, you mean? So, what we want to do now is actually to fly all around the world and to the... Uh, hometowns of our uh, Tethiala party members. And that actually also counts Genis and Rain. Though we are not going to their no hometown, no. <laughs> they are actually in Cybac and in Altessa's house, but I'm gonna go with those for last. So I'm gonna start by going to Altamira to see if that uh, who's the guy? Wells, yeah Wells. If that Wells guy is there, the, the guy who actually gives uh, Persia her uh, title. So I will meet you guys in Altamira. Please, allow me to visit Alicia. Oh, I thought there was more. Guess not. <laughs> I have a responsibility to oversee the well-being of the Los Reno company. But severing the world is necessary to avoid creating more tragedies like Alicia's. I can't simply choose one over the other. It doesn't have to be about which is more important, Rico. I think coming with us and staying here to guide the Theala are both equally important. There is no wrong choice. I wonder which path Alicia and Daddy would want me to choose. I'm sure they would have wanted you to follow your heart, Persea. No, I'm sure that's what they do want you for you. My heart? Same goes for you, Regal. Forget about which one is worthier or whatever. What is your gut telling you? A fair question. I will consider it. So that is one of the scenes that you can get. And... Oh, really? Alright, yeah, I didn't save last time. I forgot about that. So I'm just gonna skip this one. <laughs> we saw this one in the last video, so it doesn't really matter. So let's go back in here and let's see... Still no scene at the entrance, okay, and still no dude here. What is going on? He's supposed to pop up now, but huh. guess not. Hmm. Oh, well, I will be uh, running around a little bit now and then just to see if he, he pops up there. You should also actually get a scene at the uh, entrance of Altamira, but I hmm, haven't gotten that one either. That's, that's weird, though. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain about it. I just want to go back into Mizuho, so she and I can talk to the people there, too. I should go report to Taiga. Report, yeah. Ah, Lloyd, news have reached my ears. I am told you're prepared to separate the worlds immediately. The people of Mizuho are planning to move to Silverant, right? I fear now that we'll provoke the ire of the king. No place for us remains in Tethiala. I see no cause to cling to this land out of sentiment. However... Hmm? You got... You got some problems with the plan? We lack the time. 
I fear the deadline has come upon us too soon. We have no choice but to remain. What? Everyone's still out on their missions. We got people inside the Renegades, people in Miltokyo, some in Silverant even, thanks to the Renegades. I have resolved that those left in Silverant are, fo are to follow Sheena. I have faith she will do what is best. Wait, does that mean you're coming to Silverant too, Sheena? Well, obviously. I mean, what? You were planning to make a pact with the Summon Spirits without me? <laughs> that is a very valid point, yeah. Staying here is just not an option. Are you alright with that? I don't see how I have much choice. I can't leave the world to suffer and I won't abandon you guys. We will leave this place eventually. We will travel to some new corner of Tateala. Somewhere beyond the King's Eye. I'm sorry, I made a promise to you all, and now... Our agreement stands. Some of us will live in Silverant. Don't worry about it, Lloyd. As long as I'm there teaching the Chief's Igoguri, style ninjutsu, it'll be home. We will still be the people of Misuho. You have kept your promise. Now, now go, leave us. We shall be fine. Go and cleave the world apart as quickly as you're able. And to do that, we need to know who's staying and who's going. Let's hurry to the next town. Jeez, told you there was going to be a lot of talking. <laughs> Alrighty, so the next stop is Ozette. Don't worry though, that scene we just had there is by far the longest one. I would like to visit my daddy's grave. Nothing remains for me here. But if I leave this land, no one will be left to look after him. Persea, it is curious. I am free of any physical bonds, but my heart feels tied down to this place. I know the feeling. It's not easy for anybody to leave their world behind. I know I'd be torn if I were in your shoes. Perseya, if you decide you want to stay here at Atheala, you can. It just means we have to say our goodbyes before making the pact with the last summon spirit. I hope you won't, but if that's what you really want, then it's what you should do. Nice one, Janus. I will consider it. Thank you. Please continue to the next destination. I will be alright. Wow, I am impressed, Genus. I mean, I know you're a smart kid and all, but that was surprisingly grown up of you. <laughs> and of course, the next one is Selos in the Tokyo, but I can't really remember if I need to go through the sewers, so I will meet you guys in there anyway. Actually, no, we just teleport right there. Nice. I'm heading off for a walk. Hmm? Okay. So do we need to follow him or? No, actually not. <laughs> well, what do you think? Any impressions of Tateala? It's amazing. Everything's so... so advanced. Yes, including the divide between the rich and the poor. Yeah. I'm not alone in having my entire life planned out, out for me from birth. Here, pretty much everyone's life, life's prospects hinge on, the so on their social status. Let me tell you, it's suffocating. Do you hate it? Tatheala? No, I don't think I do at any rate. I love it. Worse than all. <laughs> hey, it's Selos! <sighs> what do you want, Anklebiter? If we catch you, we get a reward. And you think you can bring me in? Nuh-uh. It's... I'm not gonna catch you at all. I'm letting you go, so give me something. <laughs> I like this kid. <sighs> Greedy little mooches. Never grow up to be anything, child. Assuming they even make it into adulthood. Eat! <laughs> well, don't get getting caught, Zellos. Bye-bye. You know, you could've given him something, at least. Fan of yours? Well, I wonder. Anyway, let's move on to the next city. I'm good in Miltokyo. I will say though, I really like that scene, because it shows that Selos do actually care about other people. Not just himself and the, uh, the ladies that he oh so love. <laughs> anyway though, the next ones are, of course, Genis and Rain. They are a little bit odd though, but... Yeah, they are from Tethiala, so I guess it makes sense, but... 
yeah, I didn't really know about these the first time. They, these are scenes added in the PS2 version, by the way. I didn't mention that earlier, but yeah. Uh, I didn't even know that you actually had those scenes at the, fir the first time, and then I just found out, oh, there's a scene in Misuho. Maybe I should try the other ones too. <laughs> uh, so actually, the next ones with Jinus and Rain are new to me too. But before we go though, let's finally watch this damn skit. <laughs> ロイヤが繋がっていたとはな。リーガル様様だぜ。それを知っているのは恥ずべきことだ。まあ、でもそのおかげで系統を助けられたんだし、いいじゃないか。ですやら広しといえども、社交界と経済界と牢獄に通じ
Mythos really seemed sad. Maybe, maybe I should... Don't tell me you're thinking of staying here, Genus. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I thought I made my peace, but I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, you still got time. Wow. That was also very nice. Oh, it's still not done, huh? So, what about everyone else? Do you want to stick with us? It's too big of a decision to make it all at once, huh? Why don't we give them a night to sleep on it? Right, that sounds good. Colette and I will end up camp outside Mil Tokyo. Come once you've made your decision. Wow, there's a lot of new stuff I haven't seen before. Wow, <laughs> I am impressed. It's been a while since it was just the two of us. Yeah, no kidding. Everyone's off in their little corner of the world thinking about what to do with their lives. Do you think Genus and the Professor will stay in Tateala? That Selos, Persea, and Regal have even more of a tie to this place. All of them could decide to stay. Yeah. Things could get pretty lonely from here on out. But that's their call to make. I'm, I'm supposed to be the Chosen, but there's nothing I can do for any of them. Even poor Sheena's leaving the rest of the people of Misoho behind. Leaving for Silverant all alone has got to be hard for her. He just feels impotent. You're not. Thank you, Lloyd, but you're as strong as any of us. We all have our tiny little bits we can do. Sure, none of us is all powerful. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> but pulling all of our strength together has gotten us this far, hasn't it? Yeah. We're allies in this, and we're friends. Even once the world gets split, whichever side we're on, that won't change. We'll all keep working together to build the worlds we've been fighting for. As long as we keep that fight up, we'll be a team. No matter how far apart we are, we'll still have that connection. Wow, this I can't believe I missed this! This is a great scene! <laughs> You're right, we're friends. A little distance can change that. Right, so whatever ev everyone chooses, it's fine by me. I decided to shut up and accept it. I feel the same way. We have to respect everyone's decisions. Wow. If everyone's decided, let's hear your answers now. I, I'm going back to Silverant. I talked it out with Mythos. He's not happy, but he understands. Plus, I promise you I'll stick around for a long haul, Lloyd. I will do the same. Silverant is about to embark on a long rebuilding effort. I suspect there will be need for a few good teachers. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I'm on Team Silverant, but we already knew that. I said my goodbyes to everyone in Misuho this morning. What about you, Mr. President? <sighs> I left the company in George's hands. I ask that you allow me to aid you in assuring that the tragedy ends with Alicia. I fear my strength is limited at best, but that strength I have I offer to you, Lloyd. I will. To be honest, it is still unclear to me which choice is correct, but one thing is clear. If you had not come into my life, time for me would remain at a standstill. I will give what remains of my newfound time to you all. Selos? Ugh, seriously? All of you are choosing exile in some backwater on purpose? <laughs> I take it that that means... The minute the world separates, there'll, there'll be no need for the Chosen. I'll be a free man. May as well explore my freedom in the arms of all the honeys in Silverant I yet to meet. Then we're all together? Seems that way. <laughs> Alright, let's go guys. We got a world to cut in two. And I, and I have a planet of primitive barbarians to try to civilize. <laughs> Stop it with the primitive barbarians already. <laughs> ah, Celos. <laughs> Once again, I can't believe I missed that scene. That was great. <laughs> but with that, I am going to end this off. I told you there were going to be a lot of talking. And wow, this episode is way too long. But uh, yeah, that was, that was nice. That was a nice little thing to add in the PS2 version. <laughs> but all this is completely optional, though. You can just go straight to Silveron right now and get the pack with Luna, but uh, I wanted to show this. It's something new, and 
it's nice to show new things too. <laughs> so, next time, uh, I we will probably not be able to get the pack with Luna in the next episode because there are some cleanup we need to do that and we also need to find Asuka. So, yeah, next time there will be cleanup. Because after you get the pack with Asuka, there is a lot of things that will actually, well, get to the deadline, including the Sword Dancer. But I'll talk about that in the next episode. So, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later. Once again, sorry for the kind of long episode. <laughs> hey!